Hi, my name is Tom. I'm Dutch from the Netherlands, living here in Italy, and I'm working with YWAM Trentino. I want to share my story today of how I learned Italian, that before I even was a missionary in Italy, God already had led me to learn Italian. When I was a student, I was going to do a semester abroad. And my university had said that there was a tiny university in Italy where I could go. Uh, they had never sent somebody there, but if I wanted to, I could, uh, I could go and study a semester there with Erasmus. So I emailed them and we were writing back and forth and I was going to go with two other people. Um, and that's the first time I encountered Italian bureaucracy where it's like, ah, oh, they are quite slow, but I really wanted to go to Italy. It just seemed like such a perfect chance uh, to live abroad for four months. And I write, wrote them and the only email I really got is like, okay, we're going to fix it, no worries. So I asked, hey, can we, can we do it in English? Uh, they said like, the subjects will be in English or in French. Um, I had six years of French in school, so I was like, that would be challenging, but should be good. I said that the study was in English or French, but in fact it was in Italian. No? And then the deadline passed, nothing. Second deadline passed, I didn't hear anything. So my professor asked me, Tom, are you gonna go? It's like, well, they said they're gonna arrange everything. So he's like, all right. And then the summer came and I realized I have no documents signed, nothing signed, nothing arranged, no housing, I'm, I'm not gonna go. But I really wanted to go. And this was the first time I prayed a bold prayer. It's like, Lord, if you want me to go to Italy, you need to do a miracle and arrange everything. If you don't want me to go, do nothing because I'm not gonna go. And then I got back from summer holiday and within one week, everything was arranged. All the signatures I needed, the list of subjects. Uh, I booked my tickets. The only thing I didn't have was housing. Um, I wrote some churches, see like, hey, is there a family I can live with? I just really, such a people person, I don't like living by myself. Um, so I had some contact, but nothing confirmed. Just one lady had said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. During the bus drive, uh, I woke up to the to view of the mountains. We were driving by Chamonix in France. And I was like, whoa, reminded of Psalm 121. My, my eyes look up to the mountains. Where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. I was like, okay, if God arranged everything for me to be here, then he will also arrange housing. Um, and that's the moment I got a text from the, from the ladies, like, what time are you arriving? So I said, I'm arriving at this time. And I got in Italy a little bit earlier. I waited and I waited. And then I realized, oh, my bus got here actually quite early. So I waited till the time had passed and then still nobody. Until I get a phone call, I was like, yeah, we are arriving, sorry, we're late. Here comes this, uh, the wife of the pastor with her son who was my age and spoke perfect English. Uh, turns out I could live with them uh, for the first bit. So here I am in Italy, now also with housing, going to a university <laughs> and to, to collect my list of subjects. I saw all the titles are in Italian. So I asked, oh, okay, yeah, so about that, uh, which ones of these are in English and which ones will be in French, as we had said. Uh, and, and the ladies looked at me, it's like, well, we didn't quite manage to arrange it. Uh, you'll have to do it in Italian. And my jaw like sunk open. I was like, I don't speak any Italian. Like, how, how am I supposed to do this? She's like, no, don't worry about it. I was like, what do you mean? Don't worry about it. I need to study a semester in Italy in a language that I don't speak. And again, she just looked me in the eyes like, don't worry about it. Within 10 days, I moved also to a different family. Uh, they were a very young family, two young kids, two parents. I didn't, didn't speak a lick of English. So, at the first lectures, I was just sitting in the back of the room with Google Translate, translating the slides, the PowerPoint. But actually, within a month and a half, I found myself speaking actually quite some Italian. And within the four months I was there, I was pretty much fluent in Italian. Uh, and little did I know that now, 10 years later, he, he called me and my wife to be missionaries in Italy. And he had already arranged that I would speak Italian before I even got here. And that's just been so helpful. And yeah, I just want to 
say God is so good, he knows, he knows what he's doing. Uh, and we can trust him in every single step that he will do what it takes to get us where he wants us to be.